right above the station. I hear them all hey, I'm Ed Pedersen. I'm a singer-songwriter from Nashville, Tennessee. A couple years ago, I got invited for the first time to go back to my uh, father and grandfather's uh, native Norway. So we had this contest, which was really just a whimsical thing to help Ed find his Norwegian roots. And what happened was, is all these people showed up with these genealogies. This led me to want to explore it some more. So I decided to live there part-time. Uh, it's, be it's beautiful, it's very bucolic, it's right between two fjords on, on the water. And so I, I got an apartment and started working with these musicians and writing songs. And it's the same thing every day. I watch all the pretty girls leave town. All the pretty girls leave town. It's true, I'm afraid. All the pretty One of my friends over there suggested, he said, hey, if you really want to get to know Norway, uh, how about getting some Norwegian novelists? Because we have this long literary tradition that's been um, highly uh, encouraged and promoted since Ibsen and uh, Sigurd Unset in the 1860s, 1870s. And they take it very seriously and over the course of a year, read about a book a week, you know. I started seeing similarities in the characters and my father and my grandfather's personalities. And so these characters started popping into my head and sticking with me. I would just look out the window and play and write all day and the, the song cycle kind of came together and half included my family and half included these characters from these books. And uh, before I knew it, I had a whole album worth of tunes and uh, it had a theme to me. Accident. Uh, it was a beautiful accident, but what happened was, is when the record was done, I had nothing to do, and <clears throat> one day uh, I just got in front of the computer and literally for like eight to ten hours for over two days each day, you know, went crazy. And at the end, it was the narrative to tie all the songs together, and yet was a combination of liner notes and a book. So at the festening fortress on the top of the hill overlooking town, this woman had this art studio. I went up there and it was, it's just this, <laughs> these beautiful happy accidents where as soon as I saw her artwork, I'm like, this is for me. You know, I just, it wasn't just because it was great, it was because I was emotionally connected to it. One of the biggest uh, stars in Norway is a become one of my dearest friends, Henning Fitness. And one day he takes me to this art gallery. And I looked at a few things, boom, I saw one. I'm like, that's it, you know? Um, and he's like, well, what are you gonna do? And I was like, well, if that's the cover. He's like, well, let's call the artist. So because it was Henning, the gallery owner called her and she's like, oh, well, for Henning Fitness, you know, sure. And you can have it, just buy the, buy the painting and you know and it wasn't that much money so I was like done and so I had an album cover by a famous artist over there a whole uh, booklet with original pictures that had never been published before and it became like this art book all the birds are singing when you go outside flowers in the meadow I'll turn to your light Brighter than the moonshine In a sky so blue I am just a cloud Passing over you The uh, response we've gotten so far by just giving little teases and letting people see the book um, it's been pretty overwhelming. Tim O'Brien's playing fiddle and mandolin and singing, and Jen Gunderman from the Jayhawks is on it, and she's here, and 
Dennis Crouch on bass, who's played with everybody, you know, Elvis Costello, Allison Krauss, Leon Russell, and Elton John. Um, and uh, Pete Abbott, my best friend, who, thank goodness, is back on drums, you know. So uh, it's, it's basically a Nashville record about Norway. They're fascinated with the people who left to go to America. And now I'm fascinated with them and, and my background. So I think it's going to be an interesting cross-cultural experience. I, I just want to meet people and play and, you know, hear their stories because... As a writer, you know, you, you, you got to keep asking questions and stay open. Those are the people that usually, and the stories that usually weave their way into your work. All my friends keep saying, there's hope for you, yeah. She's the best thing for you, but I can't forget. From the first time we met, it's something I knew that I am just a cloud passing over you. So afraid that I am hiding you from you. I am just a cloud passing over. I am just a cloud passing over you. I am just a cloud. 